for example, Ten last game we saw Ditya Ramarana, in theory, could have been replaced with any other hero because the emphasis was all on General's mm -hmm. Beastmaster. So, uh, in, relate to the, in relation to that, how much... Oh, oh, they did it! Got him! They listened to us yesterday! Yeah, That's it. good! Oh, like boy! Damn! But he heard you it's and still he, good. They like make you look dead. It's good against CK, it's good against Bane. A lot of low mana pool heroes in the side of Na'Vi, of course. Yeah, and they do have a bit of a greedier draft, so it's something they could fight earlier as well. Speaking of fighting earlier, General, he's got the Triad army here. Doesn't care all that much about the Rocket Barrage, but the problem is just the regular auto attacks. He jukes into the trees. Oh, he gets stunned by Solo. Denied the first blood. One more auto attack was about to come out. But good timing there by the Roaming Doom, who gets on the board first. 1-0 to zero for Vega. That's actually a really good start And this for is before Navi. the punch starts moving, who is, by the way, your highest net worth in the entire game for Na'Vi. Yep. Get I mean, ready I don't... for some hooks. This Doom can very easily die down here. Uh, you mentioned the combo. The sleep to start it off. Dendi trying to get the max rage hook, and he will pull them back in, then start chewing his way through solo. Quick kill to get the fudge on the board, but now the rotation comes from the gyrocopter. And then a bit off the mark there with the call down, as Na'Vi were able to put it. Back out of there in time at the same time. The hook back into the tower. Dendi's heating up. That's two. Will he find the third? FN continues to dive to steady up the mana here. He's got the rot to go to work, and they're going to cage the gyrocopter tower. Finishes him. Basically, a triple kill for Dendi. Even with the CK even joining the fight now. Looking for the Chaos Bolt. Reality Rift on cooldown for some time, and he's getting fogged. It is nighttime. So it looks like, oh no, no one, he tried to juke, but he walks back into the era as Dendi closes the gap, he's got the stick charges, doesn't need it, four kills here, bottom, Navi cleaning up, suddenly 1600 gold, that's the Aether Lens, essentially done. You actually want Chen and Enchantress on your team, or you know, one of the other, so you can have like a creep line in front of you, stuff like that, just anything to eat the hook. So normally just position closely the creeps. Oh, it's daytime again. Ooh. Dendi finds him, and then it's another for the Dendi Mon. And they even relocate, he pops to the eye of Seneca, who ends up securing the last hit there. Flash Sheep game. He's legit, man. Just don't put him mid. That's that's all I ask. And have a Dendi on your team, or, yeah, Dendi's... or something similar. He's a player, for sure. Now Solo moving up the ramp here as Vega looks to equal the score. They are going to find General Sprouts himself inside the flames. Right on top of the MDMP. How convenient. Tornado secures it. Narrowly missing Arcstyle though. They do get the last hit. And Arcstyle now walking forward. Dendi gets doomed. Deleted from the fight. That's the hero you want to keep out as they run down the bane. Slice him up with the sword. Very well executed, but Dengar Ra's gonna look to turn this. That Doom's ending fairly soon. They're gonna pull him back in. Phantasm gets popped, gets the second illusion, and will go to work on solo. Orbs crashing through. They just need one more poke from the IO. They get the kill. Well, they doom the Pudge, but they still end up losing one. And that's the one they relocate. Oh. Back towards top. All down's coming, though. They are on the man in front, but he's walking right into a lot of magic damage. Dropping quickly. Still with the Slayer. Very low in his own right. The tornado comes through. Splits the Wiggins. Navi dodge away from it. The Prophet ult as well. Connecting. Zit Yara being forced to turn tail and run. And now General in deep. Drops the Triads. Lays out. Still with the Slayer. Turns back for no one. FN looking for the TP away. Uh, no, not going to end up making it out. No one does get trapped. But Mag here to turn the fight. And then the grip, Arc style, locking him down, and he too will devour another and look from the river where Dendi's coming, trying to light up the hook. Is he gonna save General or score the mag kill? What's it gonna be, Dendi? It's gonna be neither. He has to hook his buddy away, but the flames chase him to the end of the earth. There is a dismember ready, and even the creeps want a piece of this sweet solo action as Arc style gets involved, but actually solo able to man by Dendi. Denied. Oh, classic punch. So frustrating. Doesn't even get the credit for the kill. Static Storm now dropped this fight. Just keeps on going. 11 to 14. The score in 11 and a half minutes. And at long last, the disengage. They didn't even get the punch kill. On top of them, you won't get the, the flush sheet pretty much. And Vega are a fairly mobile lineup. So even if he gets the assist, does not necessarily mean that uh, he's going to be in that range. Right, right. Uh, bet on the Blink Rider. It's only 12 minutes in. Yellow bottom. Blink Rider. Uh, may need to rotate here to the bottom lane because FN's getting overrun. Navi do find a kill, though. They're fairly low and solo marches and has the Doom available. Goes to work with the Infernal Blade, bringing Dendi low. The IO keeps him in fighting shape and they go right back. And we'll end up escaping. Very good control there on the IO, showing why Seneco is truly one of the best, if not the best, IO players in the world. Navi just always have a good Wisp player, no matter what. Like every iteration of Navi <laughs> had, a, true. had an IO player. You have to go back to like before IO was in the game <laughs> to a time when maybe they didn't have one. Seneco, we'll get popped here mid though. Good counterplay by Vega. 
But it's only a support IO, and the cores of Navi now a bit on top is Dendi! Low from distance gets no one again! There's just something about Pudge. I, like you said, the hero can really change the dynamic of the game. It... If, if you're super fat, E-Blade can do a ton of damage. But I think it's more just if you want a BKB maybe, just to make sure that you can get full duration dismembers off, because that's a huge chunk of your damage. Oh, here comes the smoke. Oh, no one. Just sidestepping the hook there. And now they're going to counter initiate. They have found Dendi down to the river. Arkspell also caught out. It's to do on him. They bring the punch while looking for the reloaded save, but they end up dropping the punch as well as the Bane. Get your rub. Should it be next? Io's coming back. Oh, can they run him down? Blake a forward, roasting that Chaos Knight. Low, not dead just yet. Io, there to keep him fighting chip, and suddenly he finds himself back in the middle of the river. It's almost oh, like they forgot horrible. about him. Get your rub still living, Sineko's still oh living, how do they do it? They survive for hours and days, and well, until the IO goes pop. And Jen says, man. yeah, forget about that, man. I'm CK's alive, myself. dude. That's all that matters. That was some Radiant's sick, sick armor toggling. Dude, he... Vanguard completed for the Doom, huh? Yeah, this is a Crimson coming Crimson out. Crimson Guard coming out to deal with the Chaos Knight, I suppose? It's okay. I mean, it gives you a little bit of armor, too. Definitely an unconventional choice as they look for a glimpse and they will find it in the mid lane, but there's the relocate save and Navi may set up a counter initiate. They've TP'd in the pudge as well. Nature's Prophet always able to arrive. So while these heroes will be going back, time the hook, let's go. There's the hook on too. the SM. They pull him in the defenders and they jam him down with a quick stun from Ditya Ra. However, they have paid. The IO bring him down. Now look for Dicka Ross, who's doomed, and this guy won't have a relocate save. Last one as well. That's some hate. Your Chaos Knight won't make it out. Art style. Well, he rambles into the midst of Vega's entire four man squad. Now another glimpse grab with the Infernal Blade follow up. Playing it into general. Dendi looking for the hook. He's going to find Solo, but can he kill him off? Now the Cold Snap. This is a Pudge's worst nightmare. Cold Snap with the Rot going, taking too much damage. Infernal Blade, who do they want? It looks like they're going to turn the other direction on to general. They let Dendi live. They prefer to get the juicier target in the Nature's Prophet. Also, the squishier one. They bring him down, and now they look for Dendi, too. It's four dead. It might end up being five. No one with the triple. Mag on the chase. Goes for the rot, and I will again deprive them of the Pudge kill, but still effectively a full five-man wipeout. Yeah. Whether it's like the Napalm turn messing you up, the Lasso pulling you out of position, the Doom just ruining you, and then the Cold Snap. We already saw how annoying that could be. Yeah, you hook Doom and he Infernal Blades you, you lose like three quarters of your health because of Scorched Earth and all that, and you're just like, well, I'm dead. Speaking of the hook, he does find one. Is that a good angle? But FN with the quick BKB, they're now going to go with the Cast Knight pops his own BKB, but still gets last of all BKB. The illusion's paved in by FN on the Duracopter, and now committing all sorts of resources to try to be done to Yara. Look for the armless toggles. Can he get it up? Looks like he should be able to survive. No, Stendi trying to turn this, but he does get the Doom pick in the end. So that's something at least, but FN runs on the Dark Ops. Two support oh. down. Finds another hook. Brings down no one as well. Can he get FN too? No buy. Actually, they do have a buyback on the Invoker, but uh, it seems like the Gyrocopter should be fast enough to get away. Popping the drum charge as well. Bottom lane, General was looking for the TP out, but it looks like it won't be an easy one. Close. No cigar. Vega make it three for two, but he managed to get a melee rex. Did the Trian army coming through? Bulldog oh would be God. proud. How are they How is winning? This happening? How are they winning this game? Three to three. He's pushing in bottom and top simultaneously. He's already forcing Vega back. Look at those tree ants. Oh, God. Painful stuff for Vega. Might be death by a thousand cuts. They'll hang on to the Ranger X for now, but eventually you know it's going to fall as they make the move. Relocate on the Seal of the Slayer. Take it off. Chops him up. And also the top lane, there has been a lasso, it looks like, onto the Nature's Prophet. And they may be able to run him down here. They're also working on Solo in the mid lane, but he's very tanky. They get the Nature's Prophet kill it one for one. And man, so on that Doom is not an easy He's grab. Stuck. Oh Finally my gets God. pulled by the Reality Rift into the trap and then gutted by Dendi from behind. That is an ugly and very bloody way to die. But I would down be, he goes. I would be so triggered if I was solo right now. I, the way I, they... If I were Vega right now, with all the hooks and shenanigans from Nami, I'd be pretty tilted as well. It's just the way that he got Reality Rifted that he got stuck. Well, he goes for the Reality Rift again, but this time FN with the BKB, the Cold Snap is open again! Dendi with the hook! Saves the day, but Tigara managed to go down. Tether. Oh, it was close. No cigar this time. No armlet toggle for you, sir. Sunstrike coming through. Kill off that pesky little ball, you bastard. Come back. They're running him down through the trees, but can't easily escape from Mag, and they will get the kill in the end. Vega grab four, and that has to feel pretty good. But bottom lane, they lost the Rage Rex. It's still pushing in. You might even be able to force him to buy back, depending on how much you want to pressure this. With the Aegis, especially on the Gyro, this is a. 
a super strong timing for them. Oh, they're looking for something. They are raw. He does have a Phantasm uh, available Radiant here. Is he going to make the move? They hold solo position. They're going to throw out the Chaos Bolt. Now pulling them back into an army of nice and solo drops quickly. Hacked to bits, but a pretty good disruptor counterplay. Isolating those illusions while the Gyrocopter works on the tower. We'll bring it down. But they want to back now. They know the hook man's he's got coming. Blake. He's got the Blake ready. Dendi looking for the jump. It's a straight hook on the FN. Who turns the Aegis though? Not the ideal grab. But now they're going to last with Dendi. He's going to BKB and look to turn this one. FN going to work against the CK Illusion Army. Black Cannon is going to be enough, it looks like. They bring down the CK. The IO just a bit too slow to save him. Sunstrike coming through. IO goes flat. That's three down. The hook's too late. Not there with the save. Nature's Prophet. He's home. He's defending. General even is going to blink it, throws up the sprout, and looks to engage, but the Gyrocopter of FN still at the front lines. Iowa with the buyback, Bane as well. They're looking desperately to hold the line here. The hook comes through, but this time Denny off the mark, and FN finally Vega. They take her for a first Rex, and it's a melee at that, flacking off the tower. In comes the tornado. They got to be careful not to die back on these heroes, but look for the hook. Sleep to set it up. Dismember at the ready. No save for FN, at least not yet. Batrider coming in. They're going to try to counter this hit. This one, he turns. He fights. He slows the Aegis. He lives through it all. They're gunning them down. Now we have lost two more of the bait as well as the punch out of the picture. It's up to General now. He's the man who can hold it. But Mag is already on the hunt. Blinking out, chasing forward. They want to isolate this prophet. There's the play break, General. You can't afford to die, my friend. And there's no less, so he will make it home. But Vega says, good. We have objectives on the braid. And it's now the melee racks towards mid. Seneko, cold snap, control. This could be another drive back. It is the jump hit. The Dignami are crumbling before the mighty onslaught of Vega. Oh, well, CK, can he at least help okay. this a bit? There's the crit. The kill secured. FN now. Okay, well, he's out of there, too. Well, so I TP's mean... home. MKB now, like a CK with these items can destroy the gyro in a four second stun. Like, just absolutely murder him. And he is, he is the MKB now, so the evasion is, is a non issue. Yeah. Mag. They are gonna find Mag. Actually, it's the CK who gets the initiation, just hacking through him. Does that to drop the lasso, though? This could be big. That Yara controlled for now. So Nako trying to keep him alive. BKB comes out and turns on the invoker while they grip FN during his own BKB. So both carries having their struggles in this fight, but he just goes to work. Finishing off solo on the Doom, and now slow down control by the Ice Wall, driving them back. Art Sale will fall too. That's two heroes without the buyback. The Doom actually has it available. And Dia Ross down. That's three down for Navi. It's all up to General now, pushing in the bottom lane, but is he doing it fast enough? It looks like he wants to back. He's gonna kill that you, has a basher. Yeah, he's gonna go for the Abyssal for the CK, I think. Or the another hook, another miss. Navi may be on their last legs here, and perhaps their first loss, uh, I think, since I got here a couple of days ago. And it, came, it comes on the back of an iconic Dendi Pudge. At long last, they will wrangle him and they will punish him. Vega get their sweet, sweet vengeance. Nobody from Navi in their base at all. The game of Rat has ended. And now FN proudly diving the enemy well to end this one with style. Oh my Punishing goodness. Suneko. A triple kill for him, but he will be counter punished by General Sprout. Four step back out, turns with the Satanic. He's not even gonna die, dropping the items in the well. The Fanner plays all around. God, this must feel good for Vega. They needed it desperately, and they do end up getting it. There's the GG call. Man. Jesus. Everybody's dropping their items. <laughs> this feels like a game of Diablo at this point. Uh, it really, really does. I don't really know what to say. It was, it was a punch game, that's for sure.